Drone Aerial Mapping, Process Products and Applications 1. Aerial Data Capture Once the study area is selected and the drone takes off, it automatically takes many pictures of the terrain. while flying through a kind of zigzag path in order to cover up all the study area avoiding leaving blind spots as possible. And in the end, it automatically lands on the start point. 2. Key Point Matching The taken pictures have elements in common, which are key points we can match by overlapping the pictures. To merge them all, and that way, knitting all our terrain in a single image. 3. Calibration. Now that we have a large flat image, we have to adjust the elevation of each one of the pictures, which integrate the big one, in order to generate the landforms, we get this based on the GPS data, and how high the drone had flown. Point Cloud Now our terrain picture is fragmented into a point cloud, a set of geo-referenced points, embedded in a 3D space, which keep a certain elevation and distance from each other. The empty dark zones among the points can be automatically filled up by the system by saturating the cloud with more points, looking just like this example. DSM DSM stands for Digital Surface Model and that's exactly a thing we can get by using this technology here we can see an elevation color ramp where blue means lower yellow zero and red higher elevations Orthophoto, and Orta Mosaic. An orthophoto, is an aerial photograph, geometrically corrected, assembled from several overlapping photos, removing perspective distortion, such that the scale is uniform, it can be used to measure true distances. An orta mosaic is formed by many adjacent or partly overlapping orta photos. Here we can see it overlaid onto Google Earth. Taking measurements. Since we can get accurate geo referenced. 3D models of the study area. If we want to take measurements, we just do something like this. As simple as that. Area calculation. Almost in the same way, which we have measured distances. We can calculate a certain area, by just selecting it. For this example we've determined the repaved highway sections area. Volume calculation. 
we can even determine the material volume contained in a certain area, just by doing a couple of clicks, 